Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. So I just wanted to come on and let you know that we're going to have another special guest this afternoon at 3.30 today. We're going to be going uh, live with Jenny Campbell from the Resilience Engine and um, Jenny is going to be talking all about resilience and explaining why we need it, um, what it is and uh, why we can use it for all kinds of different areas of life but predominantly why it's key to making changes and hi Amanda nice to see you I hope you're well and uh, yeah Amanda is somebody that has been showing true resilience um, I hope it's okay for me to say but Amanda is somebody that's been came to our Change Your World event um, in April in Inverness well she watched it on the streaming and then she's been coming along to our weekly personal development group and making amazing transformations and yeah it's an absolute delight to see it's amazing to watch Amanda blossoming so love to you and uh, Sean hi Sean nice to see you and Jenny is online as well so I'm actually just going to invite Jenny on and she can give you a quick teaser about what we're going to talk about today so give me a second um Add. here we go he's just coming in and so basically join us for at 3 30 hi jenny nice hello to see you. it's working it's working we love it when technology works because we were both a bit nervous about it weren't we? indeed so, indeed yeah, yeah. So, oh. um very good afternoon to you hello to amanda hello to anyone else who's online i can't see you all but i know that susie can so yeah. i'm really looking forward to talking this afternoon and of course on the fifth and um, so that'd be cool and i'm not quite so normally quite so heavy on the glasses it's just because i'm as blind as a bat because of my age <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. It's all good. But just give us a flavour <laughs> of what we're going to talk about this afternoon at 3.30 and why what, why resilience is so important, why we need it. Yeah, I mean, it's actually showing up everywhere. Um, in fact, I was having a conversation with somebody today about the whole sort of macro level and how that's actually translating into the micro level of everyone feeling just unsteady or there's more of a shift towards coping rather than thriving. And even those who are in coping, you know, maybe not coping so well. So, I mean, it's very, very pertinent for, um, I think... Uh, overall well-being for our overall success in life for a sense of groundedness and um one of the kind of outcomes of resilience is, uh, is feeling at ease um and, and that kind of notion of feeling at ease in the busyness and overwhelmingness of our world is is, is just so wonderful um so yeah so i think um nice feeling to have just to be have sort of inner peace and ease and just feeling you're in flow and in control i suppose yeah yeah, and control, of course, is the is the topic that we're yeah. we're on. Um, and if you're a control freak, you know you are very welcome um, to come on the fifth of October. I certainly have been in my life, and there's a very interesting relationship with control. Um, so you know the need for control and being back in control is often after or in the middle of an event or something where you're feeling overwhelmed. Uh, but those with the highest resilience don't need that um, kind of level um, they assume it if they need it they take it they control what they can control but they're very at ease on complexity ambiguity and all that kind of stuff where they can't kind of control so there's a huge kind of understanding in there um, which is quite a journey in itself so yeah, yeah. Um, well that's <clears throat> what we'll, you'll be talking about at the conference you know your presentation is all how much of a control freak are you and how you can let go of some of it and yeah i can very much relate to that i've been a massive control freak and still am to certain extents but i am definitely learning to let go and life is becoming a lot easier um, yeah the results so that, but, actually our, our organizations are driven by control so i mean the beep will have been like that and um <laughs> yeah yeah and and actually it is important it's not because you do you don't need control over some things but it's just your relationship with it changes a lot as your resilience develops and uh and that's quite an that's interesting healthy boundaries to it isn't it and then just you know <clears throat> 
being realizing what you can control and what you can't control and like you say how you can how you react to it when and whether you need to control it (laughs) well yes exactly well this was just a little bit of a teaser to let everybody know what's coming up later on so tune in today at half past three if you can't tune in live um it will be available to watch later and if you have any questions on managing stress resilience control freak nature in you just drop them in the comments below and we can ask jenny later on so that's jenny campbell from the resilience engine and uh, she'll be speaking at half three today on facebook live on the change your world page and also on the 5th of october at the change your world conference in glasgow so if you've got any questions just drop them below and we'll catch up with you all later but thanks jenny you take care thanks. Thanks so much. We'll see you at 3.30. Bye. 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 B